Moving on to blush, the first thing I always say to people is find out, first of all, the colors that you like. If you're really pink in the skin, you may not choose to wear a pink blush. You may choose to use something that is more of a bronzing effect. Also looking at your face shape. If you're a little rounder in the face and have much of a, you know, very much of an apple of the cheek, so to speak, then you may not want to emphasize that. You may choose to do something that's a little bit more of a contour to define the face. If you're a little bit more angular, then you may choose to do something that does actually give some roundness or fullness to the face. So that, in our instance, is applying a blush that is, again, a half shade or a shade deeper than your skin tone or brighter than your skin tone to the apple of the cheek. The old school way is to just give a big smile and that shows you the plumpness right in the face where you can apply that particular blush. If you want to do a contour, I always say the easiest way to follow is to follow from the, the nub in your ear across and going a little bit more towards the nose. You don't want to take it down too far towards the lip because then it will just draw the face quite long. And again, start with a small amount and build. Blush can go terribly wrong very quickly. If you're really quite fair, you can also sweep it up onto the temples to even it out. And that just blends it all together. And another trick that I like to use with blush is to grab your face powder. And if you take a small amount of your face powder and apply it over the blush, you end up getting that color looking like it's coming from within your skin as opposed to sitting on top of your skin.